uh, briefly. So, uh, how many of you know that I, I work for Infinity? And how many of you know that Infinity doesn't have an office? And that we all tell a few? Okay, so what I'm going to talk about to you is going to sound really strange, but I'm talking about I'm going to talk about bicycling to work. That is bicycle commuting for the telecommuter. So, why would the hell would you bicycle to work if you work from home? Well, the only reason I can think of is because you want to go bicycling and possibly enjoy the exercise and the fresh air. And that's pretty much the reason I do it. So, what sort of things do you need to look out for when you are bicycling to work? For one, you need to make sure that you leave your home in time, that you can bicycle away from it and then bicycle back, or that you leave your home in time to bicycle from there to the Starbucks or whatever before people expect you to be online. Because Oh, I'm sorry, the traffic was bad. It really sounds, it sounds pretty bad when you're working from home. At least the first time, before when you start doing this without really mentioning it to anyone. Uh, secondly, what do you need to do? Well, I don't recommend you having a backpack. Backpacks, with a, especially with a laptop, and if you're carrying a external keyboard with you, you tend to get heavy, so what you need is you need pannier racks or some sort of thing on your bike that you can strap your backpack to or just your laptop so that you don't have to carry it on your back. Of course, if you're just going to bicycle five miles away from home and then bicycle back before work, then you don't need to worry about this. But if you're being adventurous and working from a non-home place, then you most certainly need to have some support for your backpack. What other things do you need to look out for? Well, if you're working from home, you don't need to worry about how sweaty you get. But if you're working from Starbucks, you probably want to take a more leisurely ride uh, because the people at Starbucks will think you are a hobo if they see you, especially if they see you chaining up a bike outside, getting out a backpack and going inside, ordering a coffee and sitting there. But even if you have a laptop, the hobos have laptops nowadays. Uh, some other concerns that you may have is uh, the sanity aspect. If your coworker is questioning whether or not you are a sane individual, but in this case, they know that I'm not, so that was really a concern. Uh, the primary motivation for doing this, as I said, is fresh air, exercise, and you know, being able to commute to work. It's, it has some psychological impacts too. The simple act of going away from home and then coming back to that either home or somewhere else is valuable because it gives you some kind of separation. Especially if you make the return trip home, it gives you a disconnect between working and being home because you are not, you left, you did something, you, were, you, you commuted to work, you went there mentally, you were in your work state of mind. Um, do, do you bike home at the end of the day? I do. Excellent. When I can, when the weather is inclement, if not, I, I can cheat and say, oh, I'm staying I'm, uh, I'm home now. I teleport at home. It's just some advantage you don't get if you actually are commuting to work. Uh, also, if you, if you do happen to not work in a case where you are working from home and you do work and your work's not too far, you may consider bicycling um, to your actual work because it's, it's really blast. Um, in that case, I'd recommend bringing a change of clothes because your coworkers probably have higher standards than the people at Starbucks do, so if you really have sweaty, they'll probably get it. Um, uh, the, the other pitfalls that are involved in this are your own personal hygiene preferences. Yeah, I recommend hat, a hat because otherwise you're also going to be late for work because when a bird poops on you, you're going to need to get in the shower. I mean, I don't know about you, but I could, I could can't work that way. Um, having a flat tire is another thing. Make sure your bike's in good repair because it sounds really weird. I was on my way to work and my tire blew up, so it took me a little longer to get there. That sounds so much like a cop-out that I don't even need to explain it, I believe. <laughs> Um, so in summary, biking to biking to work even when you are a telecommuter is a very excellent thing to do. If you you know if if you live, if you're one of those people that has a two hour car ride, I don't recommend it because that would probably be four hours. So you can usually double it depending on the traveling conditions. But if it's if it's all possible for you to bicycle to work, then you should. And if you telecommute, it's very possible for you to bicycle to work, unless of course you do not have a bicycle. Any other questions? Cool. Okay. That was four minutes and twenty seconds. Keep talking, Lewis. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we do five minutes. What are you ordering at Starbucks? What? What do I usually? That's the best thing. Uh, if they're rude to me, then I order a coffee and sit there all day. Uh, they turn off the. They have a switch on the router that turns off the Wi-Fi. However, this doesn't affect existing connections, so I continue staying there. And even if they manage to actually unplug, which they occasionally do, I continue staying there tethered to my phone. Uh, they've never <laughs> once actually asked me to leave. So, and I do this somewhat frequently. <laughs> Panera Bread is really bad because their policy is to, every day at 11.30, turn off the wireless. But once again, they stop new connections, but they don't tear down existing ones. So if you're tunneling everything over OpenVPN, it's not really 
They start looking at you because they notice that you're still online. I mean, they're you're on the reading reading something online and gets to see faster for you since you're the only user. Now. <laughs> yeah, it gets really fast. There's another benefit. Why do they? Why do they do that? Why well, do they have awesome. that switch? They probably have it to prevent people like me from abusing the merchant and all that.